the Bet365 Old Newton Copy. The Nexus is at one mile and three and a half furlong, naught to a hundred for four yards and upwards. And at the top, we've got Shimna Camellia for Dan Hughes. Insignia Island for David Robertson. Joyrider Dan Hughes. Reaper Craig Beckwith. Seabird Martin Leon. Watch your 20 Satyam Sandra Sager. And non fiction Kevin Meehan. Palmetto and Avalanche for Obi Wan. Wardorf Salad. Martin Lidham, Drawback Arrow, CDJ Liggett, Gunslinger Contact, Thomas Rogers, Lakota Enzyme for Padre Hogan, Classic Mode, Alex Cherry, Dewdrop and Crophy Kingston for Matt Cooper and Crinkrang Alliance was the bottom one. And they're away and racing. And who's going to be the first one to get off into the lead? Looks like it might be Watch Your 20 Ward or Sands also. Up there, disputing the lead, and so does Dewdrop. But Dewdrop is going to come across, he's going to try and cut across to the rail, I think, and take the lead, and does so. So it's Dewdrop who's got the rail, and he's two or three lengths clear of Waldorf Salad in second. Then Watch Your 20 is third, Lakota Enzyme is in fourth, then Palmetto, and Insignia Island. Non fiction is after that one. Then comes Seabird, and then Gunslinger Contact, and Insignia Island. Shimna Comedia and Kofi Kingston are after them. Joyrider the Grey. He's also in that little group. They're pretty tightly packed, the main body of the field, but Dewdrop's got a four or five length lead at this point. It's difficult to see which one is just about a second. It's probably, watch your 20 just second. Seabird in the purple and white stripes is close up as well. So to stable mate Wardor Salad and non fiction and Palmetto are still there as well. But as we switch angles, Dewdrop, you can see a good four or five clear. With Gunslinger contact in the green wide on a track, going to lose some ground on the turn. So too is the Kevin Meenahan horse, non-fiction, who's going really well, but he's going really wide as well. The one that's out the back is classic mode, but it's due drop in the lead from Watch Your 20 and Waldorf Salad, then Palmetto and Avalanche. Seabird is still there in the grey. Shimna Camellia, non-fiction, trying to get into it. Kring, Craig Alliance is also trying to get going as well, but they've got four furlongs still to go then. And it's Watch Your 20 and due drop from Waldorf Salad and Palmetto. Palmetto, non-fiction up the centre of the track, he's going well, Seabird and Shimna Camellia is still there as well, Gunslinger Contacts trying to get into it, it's wide open this one, watch your 20 in front, Wardour Salad, Seabird, then Dewdrop Palmetto, Drawback Arrow is now coming through with a strong looking run, and Drawback Arrow, it is that's acted up on the centre of the track, Drawback Arrow from Drawback Arrow from watch your 20 and Wardour Salad, then after that one, Reapers now starting to make a forward move, Gunslinger Contact is there as well, Joyrider is also running on the race down all the Final furlong, and it's drawback arrow for Watch Your 20. Reaper and Joyrider, Gunslinger contact, and then Wardour Sun and Seabird still trying to run on Avalanche. He's running on Shimna Camellia as well, but they're coming down towards the post now. And it's drawback arrow is just about 14 into the lead. Drawback arrow from Reaper and drawback arrow. It's actually Reaper's second, and then Watch Your 20 and Gunslinger contact. And that was a pretty tight race. And Draw back arrow takes it. CDG Leggett coming back after the break in some fine form as he takes another one there. A big winner yesterday. Draw back arrow, the one of them for CDJ Leggett. Reaper for Craig Beckwith was second. Watch your 24. Satyam Sandra Sagaran was third. Gunslinger contact Thomas Rogers fourth. And Joyrider for Dan Hughes was fifth. Just a point out there, there was a horse in that race. Uh, the horse that came seventh. Shimna Camellia running off 101. Technically speaking, shouldn't have been allowed to run in that race, so everything should have been a pound lighter. Now, whether that would have made a difference or not, I don't think it would. I think it would still win the same result, so no big deal done there, but just I'm going to keep an eye on 101 getting into a 0 to 100. <laughs> 